Welcome, my fellow billionaires, to another exciting episode of Billionaire Mindset, where we explore the most extravagant and ambitious projects from around the world. Today, we delve into the fascinating world of Neom and its jaw-dropping mega-project, The Line, Telosa, America's $400 billion future city. A cube so massive that it could fit 20 Empire State buildings inside. It's not a dream, it's Saudi Arabia's latest mega-project, the Mukab. Get ready to enter a world of wonder and luxury as we explore this mind-boggling creation. This is the Billionaire Mindset Channel, where we dream big and live even bigger. Saudi Arabia is no stranger to mega-projects, and their latest addition, the Mukab, takes luxury to a whole new level. Brace yourselves for a cube so colossal that it will redefine Riyadh's skyline. Let's unravel the mysteries of the Mukab together. Saudi Arabia, known for its vast oil reserves, is now shifting its focus from black gold to a treasure of a different kind, tourism. Under the grand vision of Vision 2030, they are embarking on awe-inspiring megaprojects that will leave the world speechless. Before diving into the cube we must remember that Saudi Arabia's crown of visionary projects already started with Neom. Picture this, a project worth a staggering $1 trillion. Yes, you heard that right. It's not just another extravagant shopping spree for the ultra-rich, but a mind-blowing vision that aims to redefine the way we live, breathe, and enjoy life. The line, my affluent comrades, is Saudi Arabia's audacious plan to create a whole new way of urban living. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty details. The line is set to span a jaw-dropping 170 kilometers through the magnificent desert landscapes. Imagine the view from your luxury penthouse. It's like living in a sci-fi movie, except this is no fiction. Saudi Arabia is turning this dream into a reality, and we can't help but be captivated by the audacity of this project. But hold your horses, my dear billionaires. The line is not just a simple feat of engineering and architecture. Oh no, it's a paradigm shift in urban planning. This city is designed to be a car-free haven, where everything you need is just a five-minute walk away. No more traffic jams, no more honking horns, just blissful luxury at your fingertips. And here's the kicker, my friends, the line is a zero-carbon city. That's right, zero carbon. They're harnessing the power of wind and solar energy to generate all the electricity needed. It's like living in an eco-friendly paradise where your guilt-free conscience matches the grandeur of your bank account. Now, let's talk about the sheer size of this behemoth. The line consists of two parallel skyscrapers that stand a whopping 500 meters tall. To put that into perspective, it's like having 2001 World Trade Centers lined up side by side. Talk about making a statement. Saudi Arabia is not holding back when it comes to showcasing their wealth and ambition. But, my fellow billionaires, we must address the big question, can they actually pull this off? Will the line become the greatest mega project ever, or will it crumble under the weight of its colossal price tag? There are three possible outcomes, my discerning comrades. Firstly, construction on the line comes to an abrupt halt. The dream of a futuristic city in the desert fades away, like a mirage in the scorching sun. The world watches in disappointment as the once promising project remains incomplete, a monument to unfulfilled ambitions. We've seen it happen before, haven't we? Those grand ideas, those lavish plans that simply crumbled under the weight of their own impracticality. Remember the Jeddah Tower? The Dubai Creek Tower? They started with a bang, captured our imagination, and then fizzled out into oblivion. The line could follow a similar path. The vision of car-free living, renewable energy, and vertical communities might remain nothing more than a distant dream. The construction site, once buzzing with activity, falls silent. The cranes stand idle, and the desert reclaims its territory. Oh, what a tragedy it would be. The line, a mere footnote in the annals of architectural ambition. The world would mourn the lost opportunity, while skeptics and naysayers nod knowingly, their doubts seemingly justified. But my fellow billionaires, let's not give in to despair just yet. While this scenario is a possibility, it's not set in stone. The line has the backing of an entire country, and the world's eyes are upon it. There's a glimmer of hope that the project will rise from the ashes and continue its journey towards completion. After all, we live in a world where dreams are turned into reality every day. The line, with all its audacity, could still find a way to overcome the challenges that lie ahead. Let's not write it off just yet, my discerning comrades. So, my esteemed billionaires, what are your thoughts on this first scenario? Do you believe the line will face an untimely demise, or will it defy the odds and triumph? Share your insights in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Buckle up, because we're diving into the second scenario that could unfold. Imagine this, 
My esteemed comrades, Saudi Arabia invests heavily in their audacious plans. Over the next decades, the country pours resources, expertise, and determination into bringing the line to life. Piece by piece, the desert transforms into a marvel of human ingenuity and architectural prowess. Now, let's be clear, my wealthy friends. Achieving the full extent of their initial proposal is no small feat. Building not one but two parallel skyscrapers, stretching a staggering 170 kilometers, is a monumental challenge. It's like building 2001 World Trade Centers, but multiplied by two. Can you even fathom the scale of such an endeavor? It's a task that seems insurmountable, a race against time and logistics. But if there's one thing we know about the ambitious visionaries of Saudi Arabia, it's that they love a challenge. Picture a future where the line becomes a reality, a sprawling metropolis that embodies the ideals of sustainability, vertical living, and zero carbon emissions. A place where cars are nothing but a distant memory, and renewable energy powers every inch of this marvel. From towering skyscrapers to subterranean transportation networks, the dreams of a car-free, technologically advanced society come to fruition. The world watches in awe as the line becomes a shining example of what human innovation can achieve. But let's not get carried away with the glitter and gold, my discerning friends. While certain aspects of the line are feasible, the sheer magnitude of the project poses significant challenges. Building a city the length of two parallel skyscrapers on such an unprecedented scale is an immense task. Experts question the viability of such an ambitious timeline. And Tony Vives, chief urban planning officer at NEAM, admits it's no walk in the park. NEAM is a complex, bold, and highly ambitious undertaking and is most certainly not an easy one to deliver. And we can't ignore the concerns raised by outside voices, like Professor Marshall Brown of Princeton University, who questions the physical and environmental phenomena that must be overcome to achieve the line's grand vision. It's a delicate balancing act, my billionaire friends. A dance between audacity and pragmatism, where dreams meet the harsh reality of engineering, logistics, and the ever-elusive element of time. Can Saudi Arabia rise to the occasion and surpass all expectations? Only time will tell. So, my fellow billionaires, what are your thoughts on this second scenario? Do you believe Saudi Arabia has what it takes to pour their resources into making the line a resounding success? Share your insights in the comments below and let's keep the conversation alive. And now, hold on tight because we're about to explore the intriguing third scenario that could unfold. Picture this, my opulent comrades, construction on the line has already begun, signaling Saudi Arabia's commitment to turning this visionary concept into a tangible reality. But what if, instead of adhering strictly to the initial grandiose plan, a compromise is struck? Yes, my fabulous friends, it's possible that Saudi Arabia may opt for a more pragmatic approach. Rather than attempting the seemingly impossible task of constructing the full 170-kilometer line, they could build it incrementally, bit by bit, as demand and resources allow. Imagine a world where the line becomes a more modest, yet still revolutionary, urban masterpiece. Instead of stretching the length of two parallel skyscrapers, it could be scaled down to a more manageable size, perhaps half the initial height. With this downsized version, the core principles of the line remain intact. A car-free city, powered by renewable energy, where all essential amenities are within a walkable distance. The concept of vertical living still thrives, but on a more realistic scale. This compromise could be a stroke of genius, my wealthy connoisseurs. While the project may not reach the jaw-dropping proportions of its initial proposal, it would still stand as a groundbreaking achievement, capturing the essence of Neum's vision. And let's not forget the practicalities, my discerning friends. Building a city the size of the line, even at a reduced scale, remains a Herculean task. The logistics, engineering, and coordination required are immense, but they become more manageable with a scaled-down approach. The line would still be a pioneer in the quest for car-free living, setting an example for the world to follow. It would be the first city of the 21st century where car journeys reach zero, thanks to efficient public transportation systems, including proposed underground railways. Now, my esteemed billionaires, while this compromise may disappoint those who crave the monumental scale initially envisioned, it offers a pragmatic solution that brings us closer to realizing a futuristic, sustainable city. So, what do you think, my opulent visionaries? Could a downsized version of the line be the perfect balance between ambition and feasibility? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep the conversation thriving. Now, let's look at the progress. Exciting news, my fabulous friends. Construction has officially begun. Drone footage reveals the excavation work, with trenches being dug deep into the desert sands. It's a sight to behold, my billionaires, 
a tantalizing glimpse of what could be the world's most spectacular megaproject. But before we get carried away, let's remember that building a project of this magnitude is no walk in the park. The challenges are as massive as the project itself. It's a race against time, resources, and unforeseen obstacles. The eyes of the world are upon Saudi Arabia, eagerly awaiting the outcome. So, my esteemed billionaires, what do you think? Will the line become a testament to human ambition and ingenuity? Or will it be a billion-dollar sandcastle that crumbles under its own weight? Share your thoughts in the comments below and join the conversation. Telosa, America's $400 billion future city. Buckle up, because we're about to embark on a thrilling journey into the realm of high-stakes urban planning. Just like Saudi Arabia's jaw-dropping project, the line, Telosa represents a bold response to the challenges of our time, overpopulation, pollution, and climate change. It's a megacity designed to be sustainable, resilient, inclusive, and equitable for all its residents. Telosa, my opulent comrades, is not just an ordinary city, it's a visionary masterpiece, meticulously crafted to redefine urban living. Conceived by the brilliant mind of American billionaire Mark Lore, Telosa aims to be a shining beacon of progress, sustainability, and equity. The name Telosa derives from the ancient Greek word telos, meaning the greatest purpose. And indeed, this ambitious project has a profound purpose, to create a city that thrives on inclusivity and serves as a blueprint for future generations. At its core, Telosa is a response to the pressing challenges of our time, overpopulation, pollution, and climate change. This future city seeks to reimagine urban life, providing a sustainable and resilient environment for its residents. Picture, if you will, a city that combines the sprawling diversity of New York, the seamless connectivity of Tokyo, and the sustainable governance of Stockholm. Telosa aspires to embody the best elements of these iconic cities, while forging its own path towards grandeur. The heart of Telosa's vision lies in its commitment to equality and prosperity for all. With over 50% of the world's population residing in cities, the wealth gap has become a significant concern. Mark Lore aims to bridge this gap through Telos's economic system called equitism. Equitism, my extravagant friends, is a revolutionary concept that ensures the people are at the center of the city's growth. Telosa will own all the land, while its citizens are granted the freedom to build and sell homes. As the city flourishes, the increasing land values will be reinvested into public services, transportation, education, and healthcare, creating a truly equitable society. But where will this opulent city be built, you may wonder. Telos's precise location is yet to be decided, but the prime contenders include desert lands in the American West, states such as Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Arizona, or Texas. Another possibility lies in the Appalachian region of the East. The chosen location will provide ample undeveloped land, crucial for Telosa's grand ambitions. Now, you might be thinking, why in the world would they build Telosa in the scorching desert? It seems like an unconventional choice, doesn't it? Well, my wealthy visionaries, there's more to it than meets the eye. One of the main reasons for this decision is the abundance of cheap and readily available land in the American West. The desert stretches offer vast expanses of untapped potential, waiting to be transformed into a utopian oasis of luxury and innovation. But it's not just about the initial affordability of the land, my lavish enthusiasts. The masterminds behind Telosa have a strategic plan in place. You see, as the city grows and evolves, so will the value of the land. The increased land values will be reinvested back into the city's services, creating a self-sustaining cycle of growth. Picture this, my extravagant comrades, with every step of Telos's development, the land becomes more valuable. The profits generated from the appreciating land values will flow back into public services, transportation, education, healthcare, and the overall enhancement of the city. It's a brilliant economic model that aims to create an equitable and prosperous society for all. And let's not forget the allure of the desert itself, my glamorous viewers. The vast expanse of open space provides a blank canvas for the architects and designers to bring their visionary ideas to life. It allows for unrestricted creativity, unrestricted possibilities. Imagine, my luxurious friends, a city rising from the desert sands, shining like a mirage of grandeur and opulence. Telosa will stand as a testament to human ingenuity, showcasing how we can transform even the harshest environments into a thriving haven of innovation and sustainable living. So, while the desert may seem like an unconventional choice, my visionary billionaires, it holds the promise of untold riches and unprecedented possibilities. Telosa will emerge as a beacon of luxury, resilience, and progress in the heart of the American desert. Now, my esteemed viewers, what are your thoughts on building a futuristic city in the desert? 
Does the idea ignite your imagination, or do you have reservations? Share your insights in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation flowing. Now, let's talk urban design and transportation, my discerning viewers. Telosa aims to create a seamless and connected experience for its residents, with a carefully planned mix of transit systems and autonomous electric vehicles. The city's layout will prioritize bikes and slow-moving EVs on inner streets, while heavier traffic is concentrated at the borders of the superblocks. As for the construction timeline, Mark Lohr, the billionaire genius behind Telosa, has a meticulously crafted roadmap for its development. The construction will be divided into two awe-inspiring phases, each marking a significant milestone in Telosa's rise to prominence. The first phase, My Opulent Comrades, is set to be completed by the year 2030. Yes, you heard that right. In just a little over a decade, Telosa will begin to take shape as a testament to human ingenuity and boundless wealth. By 2030, the city will be capable of housing up to 50,000 residents across an area spanning 6 square kilometers, roughly twice the size of New York's Central Park. Can you imagine, my lavish viewers, the opulent skyline of Telosa rising from the desert sands? Towering structures, gleaming with luxury, will welcome the lucky residents who call this futuristic city their home. It's a tantalizing glimpse into the lavish lifestyle awaiting those who dare to dream big. But the grandeur doesn't stop there, my wealthy enthusiasts. The second phase of Telos's construction is where the city truly comes into its own. Over the course of the next 40 years, the rest of the city will be meticulously built, expanding its borders and welcoming more residents into its luxurious embrace. By the end of this second phase, Telosa envisions a population of over 5 million people residing within its extravagant borders. Imagine, my glamorous friends, a city that surpasses San Francisco in size and becomes a bustling metropolis filled with life, luxury, and endless opportunities. However, my extravagant viewers, such grandeur comes at a cost. In fact Telosa, my opulent comrades, comes with a hefty price tag. The estimated cost to build this visionary city is an astounding 400 billion US dollars. Yes, you heard that right, 400 billion dollars. Now, that's a fortune even the wealthiest among us would think twice about. But fear not, my extravagant friends, for Mark Lore, the billionaire mastermind behind Telosa, has a plan to secure the necessary funding. The project will rely on a combination of private investments and grants from federal and state entities. Convincing potential investors to part with their wealth is no small task. Lore will need to charm them with his audacious vision and assure them that Telosa is not just a utopian dream, but a solid investment that will yield substantial returns. The funding secured for Telosa will go towards every aspect of its construction and development. From acquiring the vast tracts of desert land to building the city's infrastructure, housing, public amenities, and cutting-edge technologies, every dollar will be meticulously allocated to create a city that exudes opulence and luxury. Now, let's put that colossal figure into perspective, shall we? To give you a sense of the magnitude, $400 billion could buy you approximately 1,000 private islands, dozens of luxury yachts, and a fleet of private jets. It's an unimaginable sum, but for Telosa, it's an investment in the future, a grand vision that transcends mere material wealth. The ambitious price tag is a testament to the scale and scope of Telosa. Every aspect of the city, from its sustainable energy infrastructure to its meticulously designed urban spaces, requires substantial financial resources. But with great fortune comes even greater possibilities, and Telosa promises to be a city like no other. So, my extravagant viewers, as we marvel at the grandeur of Telosa, let's not forget the significant financial commitment required to turn this visionary dream into a reality. It's a testament to the audacity and determination of Mark Lore and his team, who are willing to spare no expense to create a city that embodies the pinnacle of luxury and innovation. And so, what are your thoughts on the cost of Telos's construction? Can you fathom the immense wealth required to build a city of this magnitude? Share your perspectives in the comments below and let's ignite a conversation of opulence and ambition. And before we wrap up, we've talked about Neom but hold on to your designer hats because the Mukab is here to captivate your imagination. Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia, is already a thriving city, but the new Maraba project is set to take it to new heights. With more than 80 entertainment venues, walking trails, and a grand museum, New Maraba aims to become the world's largest modern downtown. And at its heart, or should I say at its center, we have the one and only Mukab, a cube like no other. Picture this, my billionaire comrades, a cube that stands at a mind-boggling 400 meters tall. It's not just tall, it's also incredibly wide, matching its height with a span of 400 meters. This cube is so massive that it could make other cube-shaped buildings seem like child's play. 
The Berlin Cube? A mere 40 meters tall. The Mukab could fit a thousand of those within its colossal walls. It's like a billionaire's dream house on a whole new scale. But this cube is not just about its sheer size. It's about the experience, my fellow billionaires. The Mukab will transport you to other worlds through its mesmerizing holographic dome. Imagine stepping into a virtual reality like no other. You could be swimming in the depths of the ocean one moment and exploring the surface of Mars the next. It's like having a private intergalactic vacation, all within the confines of a luxurious cube. And that's not all, my friends. At the center of the Mukab's dome, a spiral tower rises, offering premium amenities for tourists from around the world. Picture this tower as the pinnacle of luxury, with restaurants, hotel rooms, observation platforms, cinemas, and theaters. It's like a billionaire's playground in the sky. But let's not forget the cube's four corners, my wealthy adventurers. Each corner is stacked with skyscraper-like towers, packed with facilities that will make your head spin. And yes, my friends, even the top of the cube is not spared. It will house lakes, lawns, and trees. Who needs a private mansion when you can have a lake on top of a cube? It's like a billionaire's fantasy come true. Now, you may wonder why they chose a cube shape for the Mukab. Well, my inquisitive billionaires, the designers believe that the cube is not only aesthetically pleasing, but also the most efficient shape to accommodate the advanced technologies that will bring this experience to life. It's like combining art and science in one luxurious package. But wait, my fellow billionaires, there's a little controversy surrounding the cube shape. Some say it bears a resemblance to the Kaaba in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, a sacred site in Islam. But let's not jump to conclusions, my friends. The cube is not the only shape in the world, and the Saudi crown wouldn't intentionally create an offensive structure. It's all about perspective, and this cube is meant to be an iconic symbol of Riyadh, just like the Eiffel Tower in Paris or the Statue of Liberty in New York. Ah, the million dollar question. Will the Mukab actually become a reality? My curious billionaires, let's delve into the possibilities and uncertainties that lie ahead. As of now, construction on the Mukab hasn't commenced, but Saudi Arabia is determined to make this ambitious project come to life. They've set their sights on a grand opening in 2030, aligning with their other visionary projects under Vision 2030. But let's not forget, my friends, that building such a colossal structure is no small feat. In our first scenario, the one that Saudi Arabia would undoubtedly relish, construction of the Mukab begins in the next few months, and the 400-meter tall cube stands tall and proud by 2030. Riyadh gains a new iconic landmark, and tourists flock from all corners of the world, making it one of the most sought-after destinations on the planet. It's like a billionaire's dream come true. But let's move on to scenario number two, where financial experts cast a skeptical eye on the feasibility of the project. They question where Saudi Arabia will find the funds to bring this monumental vision to life. The public investment fund remains tight-lipped about the financial details, leaving many wondering if the money is secured. It's like trying to find loose change in the pockets of a billionaire's designer suit. Furthermore, foreign investment will play a crucial role in making the Mukab a reality. Saudi Arabia aims to attract over $100 billion per year by 2030, but they're still far from reaching that figure. The success of Vision 2030 and the overall perception of Saudi Arabia may determine whether foreign investors are enticed to contribute to this grand project. It's like convincing billionaires to invest in a new luxury venture, it requires charm, persuasion, and undeniable allure. But even if the funds are secured, my discerning billionaires, another challenge looms large, the technological feasibility of the Mukab. The promise of holographic domes and virtual realities is nothing short of groundbreaking. While companies like Light Field Lab have made remarkable strides, creating a dome with screens large enough to immerse visitors in such immersive experiences is still a significant technological hurdle. It's like designing a billionaire's private entertainment paradise, it must surpass all expectations. And let's not forget the giant lake on the cube's roof, my attentive billionaires. Ensuring the structural integrity to support this aquatic wonderland adds yet another layer of complexity. The cube must be built sturdily, like a fortress, while remaining completely waterproof. After all, the last thing we want is a leak that could dampen the expensive technology hidden beneath. It's like building a billionaire's rooftop paradise, lavish and secure. With all these challenges and uncertainties, my fellow billionaires, the outcome of the Mukab project remains uncertain. Will it stand tall as a testament to Saudi Arabia's grand ambitions? Or will it remain an unrealized dream? The fate of this colossal cube is in the hands of time, finances, and technological advancements. 
But remember, my luxurious dreamers, even if the Mukab undergoes changes or faces obstacles, it could still become a remarkable achievement in a downsized form. A smaller scale Mukab, while not matching the grandeur of the current designs, would still be an impressive sight to behold. It's like a billionaire's plan B, always prepared for any outcome. So, my fellow billionaires, as we embark on this fascinating journey towards 2030, let us anticipate the unveiling of the Mukab, the line, and other groundbreaking projects. Will they open their doors to the public, becoming icons of luxury and innovation? Or will they remain as tantalizing dreams? Only time will reveal the answer. That's all for today, my luxurious dreamers. We've journeyed through the wonders of the Mukab, Saudi Arabia's next mega project. If you're thirsty for more, don't forget to check out our video on Troyina and the other groundbreaking projects under Vision 2030. Until next time, keep dreaming big and living even bigger. Remember, my fellow billionaires, the greatest luxury is having a billionaire mindset. If you enjoyed this video, support us on our path to 1 million subscribers by subscribing to the Billionaire Mindset channel. And hey, while you're at it, why not explore the captivating world of the line? It's like watching fortunes rise and fall in the blink of an eye. Stay wealthy, stay fabulous, and keep that billionaire mindset.